Hello, once again, this is Hashim Whitmore, be the world's greatest barber.com, you know, site that's dedicated to help barbers at every stage of their barbering career be better, more amazing barbers. So, um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the emails, uh, the requests. I really appreciate you guys. So, um, that being said, I wanted to move into uh, a lot of a lot of barbers um, do afros, right? So, um, off tops, an afro is gonna take some work, you know. And you're not just gonna go over an afro one time. You're gonna be picking it out, and you always start at the the. I don't have any hair, but, but uh, you're always gonna start at the far end of the hair, right? And start picking your way down to the scalp you do that you make sure the scalp uh, the hair is picked out and then you're gonna go over the hair you're gonna uh, line uh, use your trimmers or use your uh, adjustables and you're gonna you know you're gonna shape the hair one of the best tools and we'll go into more detail um, you know videos and some of the other videos about shaping up an afro and uh, you know the whole process, the procedure, how to do that. But one of the best tools that you can use and you have is one of these right here. A white towel. A white towel is going to help you so much when you're doing afros and you're doing shapes. Um, try to keep one of those towels. This is one of my bathroom towels, so you can see that there's little emblems and things like that on there. But uh, if your shop towels are great. The reason why a white towel is so beneficial because it creates a contrast in background. A lot of people that have afros or a lot of hair, they have dark hair. And so if you're wearing a black apron, a black shirt or something like that, you really can't see the contrast in, uh, in the, uh, between to actually get the shape of what you're doing. So to show you an example, I just have my mannequin head hair. And so you have your you have your mannequin and you have this white background now behind it. Now when you're shaping up your head or you're, you're shaping up the hair, you can actually see the effects of where okay, what is the shaping that I'm gonna have to do? Where where my clipper placement is going to have to be, and then where is it, where how am I going to shape this to make this a nice even afro? Uh, fortunately, she doesn't have an afro, but you still get the picture. And trust me, if you try that out, it's going to be an amazing benefit to you. Okay, so um, stay tuned. We'll do some more afro videos. We'll have some tutorials. You'll um, you'll see the actual whole process that will help you out. With shaping your froze and making them, you know, making them nice and neat, making people look kind of like a microphone. So um, please stay tuned. Uh, questions, comments, hit me on the uh, link. Uh, send those uh, emails at be the world's greatest barber.com. And please continue to go out there and be amazing barbers to somebody. All right, talk to you soon.